can't KDE just stop adding new features and focus on fixing bugs? Okay, I actually received that question quite a lot, so let's try to address it. Even via emails, you email me, can KDE stop adding new features? Like, I, I can't decide that. I do contribute to KDE though, so I should be able to answer this one. My personal opinion, personal opinion is that no, that's not actually feasible. It is a very naive idea. And let's actually well, <laughs> try to understand why. So we do have something called the feature freezes. And that is roughly one month be, uh, before releases, which means that you have released one month before you have a hard feature freeze, which means that no new big feature will get inside uh, um, that you do from that day on will get inside the next release. If you do a big um, new feature, you cannot merge it to that release. And that is quite relevant because it actually gives us developers one month to make sure that that everything works with you know um, quality, quality assurance, these kind of things. And it also gives us the promotion group of KDE, because I'm in both, uh, the time to prepare the announcement and the video. Lately, Haron, a contributor for Promo, has been doing a nice job in that. So this is extremely important. And it is very rightful to ask, OK, why can't we have that and hard feature freeze where you cannot merge new big features for, I don't know, six months, four, top, uh, a year. I don't know. I, every time I, <laughs> I hear somebody, it's a different number. But OK, let's say that we do it. It's not going to work. And let me ex explain why. If right now, how it works is that if you do a very new uh, big feature during this hard freeze time, it will get merged, but not for the next release, but uh, for, for the one after that. So we branch at the hard feature freeze and we only uh, uh, merge the new features, new big features to the next release, the one in the future, whereas the closer release, we only do bug fixes. That's kind of how it works. So in order to have a hard feature freezes that last for like four months, six months, you would require to have new merge request about features and you would have to go to them and tell, no, this is not going to get landed until six months from now. Couldn't you just tell people not to make new merge requests about big features? Yes, you could. Nobody would, uh, nobody would listen to you. Honestly, because listen, a lot of new features that we uh, receive merge requests for are coming from people that are not very, you know, uh, that are newcomers to the KD community, which is very nice. You come to the KD community, you propose something new and you actually implement it. And those people will, we can't actually uh, effectively tell those people to stop making new features. Uh, they are still going to come in. They won't, you know, really care about that. And they will do the thing for themselves. And then they will try to upstream it to KD community. There's also a lot of people with small distros that work on making KD Plasma better for their distro and then upstream the change to KD Plasma itself. In order to have an art feature freeze, we would have to look at all of these merge requests, which again, I can bet you would still be coming even if we publicly, publicly announced that we don't want them anymore. We would have to look at them and say, nope, this is not going to happen until six months from now. Then there's core contributors. And again, I can bet you that even if we internally decide to have an art feature freeze for six months, core contributors will still do new features. The only thing that will change is that they won't propose them. They will keep on their local computers and just wait for the right moment to actually do them. Because uh, KD Plasma core developers are KD Plasma users. And whenever they see that they are missing some functionality that they do want, they are going to implement it if they have enough time. And keep in mind that most of <laughs> Currently, KDE does not hire any developer, which means that we are either doing this as a hobby or by being paid for other companies. And if we're doing this as a hobby, you can tell us what to do, you know? <laughs> yes, a core KDE developers are still going to make merge requests. The only thing that's going to change is that they will wait for the six months uh, period of time to pass, which means that we would have like six months of no big new features 
just bug fixes and then after that a ton of merge requests all of the people that waited for that moment put all of the merge requests right there and of course you do also have to rebase some changes because six months is a long time the code can change and you have to rebase your changes to the latest version and that also takes more time so you're making people lose time in fact and of course as soon as that happens like hundred of merge requests well you're going to get a lot of new bugs because new features new bugs and okay you've gone six months of bug fixes just bug fixing and then hundreds of merge requests will come anyway so if you do a very long hard feature freeze sooner or later you have to finish that very long feature freeze and when it finishes you get all of the changes that people waited until that moment to submit which makes the whole thing pointless as always, this is my personal opinion on what would happen. This is my intuition. You can disagree. So is everything lost? Like, is KDE always going to implement a lot of new features that they don't have the time to actually bug fix? And I strongly disagree on this one. There is a way to tackle this issue. And I do think that there is currently an issue of too many bug reports. But the solution is not to just say, oh, they just have to focus on bug reports and that, that's it. No, no. It's much more complex. So firstly, we need more testing. And it's very easy to say it's very complex to implement. And you might say, what do you mean? Doesn't KDE have tests on all of their code? Well, you know, the, some library, libraries does have uh, like test, which makes sense, but most of KDE Plasma is UI and it's not super easy to test UI. There are interesting projects, like as an example, OpenSUSE has this open QA tool, which uh, basically runs some um, runs some you know activities like pressing on buttons and such and then takes a screenshot and then compares a screenshot to a, to a reference one to make sure that everything aligns correctly however this is very hard to maintain in the long run there has been attempts at bringing open qa to kd but those always failed there are other ways. As an example, recently there was a proposal to use accessi accessibility tools to check uh, for um, UI, uh, you know, to do UI testing. That is also interesting, but to this moment, nothing like that is implemented. Which doesn't mean that it will always stay like that. It means that we have to improve. And in fact, at the last KDE Academy, a new goal was selected, which was the automatize everything goal by Nit Graham. And one of the goals is to make sure that testing is better. Then there's also a lot of things to say about quality assurance. It's not just about testing. It's also about making sure that there is a team of QA people that test things manually to make sure that they work right before releases. And currently there is no such team. Like there isn't, there is one, but nobody is in it. <laughs> so it's not doing anything. Once we have a QI team, we can make sure that every merge request is approved by that QA team before actually merging it. And keep in mind that those things are all things that sounds very exciting to do, <laughs> that will actually improve uh, KD Plasma stability and reliability regardless of how much uh, KD developers focus on bug fixing or adding new features. Because whenever they want to add a new feature, there will be more testing, more QA, and that new feature will be more stable when it actually reaches users. So this is extremely important. And really, this is the way to go. Finally, I want to end this with my impression is that uh, KD developers, myself included, know that there is uh, more focus to be put regarding making sure that KD Plasma is stable. And to be honest, if I take KD core developers, 95% to 100% of their time, depending on the developer, uh, is spent on bug fixing. Most of the stuff they do is bug fixing. Whenever there's a new feature, usually it does not come from a KD core developer. They refactor, they bug fix, they make sure that everything works nicely. So KD developers, are extremely focusing on bug fixings and such. That is my impression. But of course, like more um, people that come from outside and just join the KDE community, they don't quite maybe have the skills yet to do larger factors. They don't quite understand the 
code base as a whole so they add new stuff because it's very easy it's very exciting to do and it's easier so usually you start off by adding new features and then you have the burden to you know bug fix them again this can be improved i think as a part of the automatized things making sure that whenever there's someone new maybe even young that proposes new changes new features they also have all of the help from a qa team to make sure that these new features are free from bug bugs and also that we can try to onboard people directly onto bug fixing but if you look at the last release of KD Plasma 5.26, that was extremely focused on bug fixing. And if you look at the release before that, 5.25, that has some major new features that were very exciting, but were all about making sure that KD Plasma is usable for users. As an example, touchpad gestures. They're so incredibly necessary. You can just live, you know, without them. Or I don't know, the new overview screen is uh, actually part of um, a rework of all KD Kwin effects. So there has been a very large refactor of effects and now they're much more simpler to maintain, which means less bugs. So again, we are incredibly focusing, if I, uh, from my point of view, on uh, bug fixing instead of adding new features. If we look at the past Plasma releases, most of the stuff is bug fixing, making the stuff more stable and so on. However, I do want to say that there is always a need to add new features that make a product exciting. We cannot go maybe one release, maybe two, and that's really risky. We can't go a whole year without adding any kind of new release because I know that for KD Plasma users, they think that we'll use KD Plasma for their whole life. Without, I don't think that's true, but you, you need to realize that for uh, in order to onboard other people to KD Plasma, which is a goal we have, and in order to keep KD Plasma users excited about KD Plasma and wanting to use KD Plasma, some new features you have to implement. You have to bring new things that users are asking for, such as touchpad gestures. And so often I see people that say KD Plasma should focus on bug fixing without new features. And then they ask for features, like they say, KD Plasma should be more stable. By the way, touchpad gestures are super important. KD Plasma should have them. That's a gigantic new feature. <laughs> There's a contradiction there. So new things are necessary, just like final example, and then I'm out of here. Plasma 6 or whatever it will be called. There will be mo most of the focus on Plasma 6 will be on transitioning to Qt 6, to Frameworks 6, and making sure that everything works nicely, reliable, and stable. This will be the main focus. There won't be any new, shiny, super big features. That will be the main fo focus because we know that's what KD Plasma needs the most, I think. At the same time, it's Plasma 6. And if you go and announce Plasma 6 without any new features, feature, any, well, th that's a bummer from a pr promotional point of view. And we do need to keep in mind the promotional side of things as well. So KD Plasma 6 should have some new feature, some, maybe not like meant for KD Plasma 6, but something that will excite people and make them use it. And then when they actually use it, they will see all of the focus that we have put into making it more stable and then we'll, they will stay on it. To make us, uh, an example, currently there is a big reward rework from KD Core developers going on about um, multi-screen setups. We very much know that there's issues regarding multi-screen. We do see the bug reports and there is indeed a rework on actually trying to address these kind of things. They're just not that easy to address so uh, it took time. So hopefully Plasma 5.27 or whatever is next, I don't remember exactly, we'll have this rework and we'll be more stable from this point of view. Me personally, I've done a lot of bug fixes just in the last week, I think I've done like five, six. That's a lot for me. <laughs> so there is focus on bug fixing. But to say that we just should focus on bug fixing instead of adding new features, that's not gonna work. That's not how it works.